good. Bittersweet. Oh. <laughs>
but don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. But be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. If we can do this without any risk. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Oh, that took all my money. No, it didn't. <laughs> Good. Go a double stage. That's all I can get. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. And also, not the shining your light in directly one. into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. That's freaking creepy. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Sounds good to me. It's nice that 
right there. I guess all these posters are creepy. One print. So far, there's nothing. Good. Turn that off so I can hear better. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna turn my audio up. <laughs> I was safe on the first one. I guess it was a mistake we've turned on that freaking audio. <sighs> I guess that's ready. So maybe if I a good route that there would be new. Apparently, that kill you. I knew I heard some, and I should back off. Back why I don't like playing horror games. <laughs> As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna try it again. A little bit more smart. <sighs> your okay. restaurant is now officially now I know open. I'm not safe the first awesome. round. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other Turn room. Turn down just a tad bit. From your terminal, you have supplies to- Okay, you done told me everything I need now. For these plates, I'm gonna play some audio. Very he stays away from me. Right. You're over there, so good. For these napkins, come on. Hurry, who are you? Don't like this. Liking this, hurry up. <laughs> I 
If I keep them occupied by going into that sound, they'll be good. Yeah, I think this is the part that's gonna take the longest, but after this, I hope the rest of them go by fast. Come on, print those posters. Where you at? Like not knowing you, where you are. Print these menus. There, top left, good. Log these freaking toilets. Got two more things to do, and I can log out. Come on. There, you're nowhere close. Good. Clean ovens. Sound off so I can actually hear. My light flickering on oh, probably because it's getting hot. They see freaking bulbs already. Log off. Great job. Yes. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view cool. that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. <sighs> Glad I didn't die that time. <laughs> that scared the living crap out of me. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then I'm actually going you to get do, no money for the salvage. I mean, I don't care how much money it, you give me. You run the risk I'm not taking the risk of that guy. Namely, I don't want to take a risk of any. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. I want to play the safe route. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. I am going to throw it back into the alley. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. Question is who? Open you meet customers. Hopefully it always stays zero on the dudes. Alright, 209. Let's see, what do I want to buy? Buy any animatronics now. Guess not. Hey. I did have enough. Okay, I guess I'll have to get those. 
So let me get some arcade game. Go with. Oh, I guess I don't have. Let's go with. Wait, I can't buy it really. I'll just save my money. I'll take these sponsored. Oh. I've seen about this game where it gets ads. That's more. That means. Um. Unavailable. Really? Not cool. Okay. It's... It... Go buy my arcade games. Put that there. Oh shit. Got a coin slot. Go get... I get my both. See if that's an Easter egg. Oh. <laughs> All right. I even I even know it's gonna pop up and it still flush me out.
run past him. Time to get another upgrade. Magnus, but... That's not fair. I guess I flipped it out. <laughs> things what make me run through walls. That's cool. Okay, where do I got left? In bottom right. Oh, dead end. Ah, oh, dead end. Ah. In. What the heck? No, I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, stupid dead ends. Dang it. I almost beat it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. How am I already at risk one? Gotta figure that out first. I'm gonna risk one, but I don't see anything. But I'm gonna end the video here. Let's see you guys next time. If you're new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I don't post a frequent. So, see you guys in the next episode.